vast experience of working at apex level of indian railways heavy haul rail road construction railroad infrastructure station redevelopment track civil system work construction project management senior level management financial model fiscal control finance administration policies cross functional working and interface consulting consultancies railroad modernization upgradation of railroad infrastructure please welcome mr atul khare on stage good afternoon ladies and gentlemen today i will be talking about the maintenance part of the railway infrastructure after lot of innovations and industry participation in the construction of infrastructure now it is probably the time of the need of the time is to have the participation of industry in the maintenance especially o&m sector which is not a much explored area so far except for the few metros and uh, maybe to start with the ncr ctc so just look at the numbers this is the number as of now or maybe one year earlier and this number in indian railways or the railway industry is going on and the count probably for next 10 years will be sufficient enough for any industry to take the job of maintenance especially o&m starting with the metros ncr ctc dfc spvs created by the railways and of course indian railways too say as of now the indian railway is presently incurring about 70% of the ex operating expenses on human resources and this will continue up to 2034 35 because even if the changes in the pension scheme etc whatsoever has taken place the burden of pension and the salaries on indian railways will continue up to 2034 35 and <clears throat> definitely there is need to rationalize the other spvs created by railways or other metro systems are also somehow following the same pattern to a little extent modified as that of indian railways so the scenario of those spvs or the organization who are following this situation is not a healthy one so there is definitely need to optimize to innovate do the multitasking try latest technology iot's and update the maintenance practices to the world standard to the latest standards available in the industry and market so what we are contemplating <coughs> maybe we are giving an idea to the spvs we are giving an idea to the our uh, railway units that go for a comprehensive maintenance contract consisting of track overhead electrification signaling system all put together because if we are having the independent and the contracts or the participation in isolation there will be lot of interface issues which will be difficult to settle the what we can thought of that out of the total 24 hours availability there will be some uh, time given for uh, maintenance uh, agency and uh, there will be some uh, time available for operations depending upon the model or depending upon the systems this uh, duration can be discussed and negotiated in railways we are thinking of around 20 hours time for operation and 4 hours time for maintenance the period should be around 15 years minimum and 15 plus some period the contractor or the industry partner should will be given an authority equivalent to the railways the same powers and the authority which railways is enjoying the complete infrastructure whatever is available can be handed over to the railways uh, to the authority with the same setup including track machines including tower wagons we call it uh, for maintenance uh, inspection of and maintenance for oh 
and there has to be a minimum payment guarantee because if we do not provide this minimum payment guarantee, the, there will be some issues. Then incentives and penalties depend upon the working and depending upon the performance. <coughs> and definitely the payment will not be on the BOQ based or the item based, it will be limited to the KPIs which are broadly decided between the, the maintainer and the railways. So the concerns which are, which we could foresee what industries might be having is the, suppose in case of accidents or some, some unusuals, the responsibility, how it will be passed on or whether it will be passed on or not to the railways, that immunity is to be provided in the terms of reference. Obligations of the employers of the, or on the, of the railways are to be predefined and there has to be an equal partnership between ra railways and the industry. <coughs> Assured blockages we have talked about. And definitely because what is the normal practice in railways that in case of requirement or in case of operational exigencies, sometimes the blockage is deferred. So there has to be a mechanism to compensate not only financially but even at the to carry out or to uh, make good the deficiency which has been created in the maintenance. The first payment is the biggest concern to the industry. So there has to be an assured payment with timelines and certain pay amount of payment may be to 75%, 80% on the basis of just submission and the rest can be followed on the basis after the checking. There is another area where the industry feels afraid of that in case of any dispute or in case of any, any say accidents inquiry or something, some dispute, so what is the mechanism to address those issues? In such cases, we are proposing that an independent agency is to be established, a dispute mechanism part of the contract should be available, which should decide on the regular interval and it should not go to the arbitration and uh, other way. Then railway is normally following set of maintenance standards that is form normally legislated in the form of various codes and manuals. So if we are again restricting to the, those manuals, then it will be very difficult for the industry to, to innovate, to improve or do the economy. So there has to be, uh, the, we are, what we are providing is a set of maintenance protocol which will be proposed by the industry or by the contractor and which will be examined in light of the existing codes and manual. If those are approved, then the maintenance protocol can also be altered to the extent possible. Multitasking, multi-skilling, it goes without saying the contractor will definitely like to. So my submission is, the, uh, it's only a thought which I am presenting to the industry. We are thinking in this manner. We, in railways and for other SPVs, we are looking for the brainstorming or for the participation to raise the concern and to suggest the methodology, to suggest the TOR, come to us, discuss and decide. We are in this way, way we are going to starting with the railways SPV and in next two to five years with the railways also. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. May I please request Mr. Rohit Lamba to join us on stage to kindly present the memento to Mr. Atul Khare. Thank you so much, sir.